Meanwhile, he stopped traffic, nearly knocked over a blind man, and stormed through businesses, all to avoid our news cameras. John Epps Jr. is his name. He stands accused of grabbing two girls behind while repairing security cameras at Baker, Baker Middle School in Damascus. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis tried to speak with the 44-year-old after a court hearing today, and Kevin is live with what happened there. Hi, hey, Kevin. Hey there, Leon. Yeah, Montgomery County school leaders had kept Epps Jr.'s arrest a secret. That was until ABC 7 broke the story. Parents are now outraged. One, because Epps Jr. had a criminal record, and two, because there was a serious lack of communication. And so we arrived here at court today to ask the camera repairman the questions parents really want answered. John Epps Jr. left court wearing his coat on his head. John, you haven't been arrested three times now in four years for allegedly grabbing the butts of women. What do you want people to know? Instead, Epps Jr. led us on a vision impaired trek through downtown Rockville. John, you're walking into oncoming traffic. John, you're walking into a woman here. The 44 year old husband and father sprinted up and then down a flight of stairs. He pulled a street side spin move visited a dry cleaner and even tried entering a senior citizen home. John, do you live here? But the former MCPS contractor refused to answer a single question. How did you gain access to all those schools? Did you grab a girls behind a Baker Middle School? How was your criminal record not caught? In 2010, police arrested Epps Jr. for grabbing women's behinds at a CVS in Severn, Maryland. In 2013, Pennsylvania cops charged him with the same crime. And in October, police say he touched two students while fixing cameras at a Damascus Middle School. According to one police report, Epps Jr. told detectives he struggles with an impulse that he sometimes can't control. Do you remember telling police in 2013 that you have impulses? Despite his record, MCPS gave the convicted groper access to nearly 60 schools. Are these allegations all true? That's what people want to know. Can you answer that simple question for us? Now, also in this Pennsylvania police report, Epps Jr. telling investigators that his sexual impulses are brought on by stress. He also says that he blacks out whenever he inappropriately touches women. Police, however, say they are very confident they have the right guy, telling us the two incidents at Baker Middle School were caught on camera. We're live in Rockville. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Thanks, Kevin.